Aloha to all. Welcome as we celebrate another segment of Comfy in the Kitchen with, as we celebrate the arts 2021 virtually. In this segment, we are very honored to have award-winning singer, composer, just the beautiful Miss Amy Hanayali'i Gilliam. Aloha, Amy. Aloha. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome. you. Mahalo for having me. Well, you can tell she's already hard at work preparing <laughs> her food. Uh, what are we having today? I don't normally look like this when I cook. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm making pork and watercress. My father always made it. He always made it a certain way. And, mm. you know, for us locals, it's comfort food, yeah? Absolutely. So, so you mentioned the word comfort, and that's how we do it here in Hawaii. Everything's got to be comfortable, your, your, your ambiance, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The host, of course, the guests, etc. So, uh, let's rock on. I see oh. you hard at work already. Well, well, t tell us your process here. Yep. So it's really, really super easy. You just put oil in the bottom of the pan. You add a little bit Hawaiian salt, a little bit pepper, ginger, and garlic. I'm gonna add those in now. But I've been already browning the pork. I was gonna put a little bit of ginger and some garlic. Not too much. My dad has been making this for many, 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 many uh, years. You know, that, that Sunday afternoon, eat and then go sleep. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's for me all the time, though. Yeah, every, yeah, every day. day I'm like every that day, too. Every day, But I'm sure at the end product, it's nice on nice cold, wintry day as well, too. Exactly, you know? exactly. What I love about this dish is because um, as an entertainer, I'm always losing weight. <laughs> Uh -huh, <laughs> trying uh -huh. to lose weight and I like it because it's very keto uh -huh. um, there's no there's no sugar in it uh -huh. or, or anything like that or carbs but you mentioned that you were an you are an entertainer yeah. and I know for a fact that you started <laughs> on stage here at the rich Cock. I did so I did at the Anui Noi room correct at the Anui Noi room um, I went to school here in Maui and then I went away to music school in San Diego came home and I was honing my craft in the Anui Nui room. I um, must have sang the Bodyguard album five times uh -huh, a night uh -huh. and tortured the guests because I thought I was Whitney Houston. <laughs> you were. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's when the five dining room, the star dining room, right. the pineapple room was open. So a lot of celebrities hung out there. So it was pressure. I, you mean, know? I remember the, the line beat out the door. Yeah. You always come back to our hotel, and so thank you very much for what you do. I what love you that. Do for people. Thank you. I sure. love coming back. I know I approach the room and I see it, and so many memories. Uh -huh. So such good food in that room. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it was so good fun. But yeah, so I just brown this pork, and I add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of um, ginger, just to get the flavors mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. And then what I do next is I pour water in it, so you make the, the meat soft, so it's not, uh, and I just kind of let it kind of simmer there, mm -hmm. so the, the pork becomes soft rather than hard. Super easy to make, um, really flavorful. So I let that just kind of simmer like that. And then, my secret is, ah, this is the secret. The secret ingredient. The secret of the chicken broth. I like it because it's organic and it's better than bouillon. Okay. My dad used to make it. Literally, it says. Better than bouillon. Better than bouillon. Right. Okay, all right. <laughs> I make all my soups with this. So I just pour a teeny bit in there just to kind of let it simmer with that. And then I'm going to add the whole thing later. But I'm just letting the, letting the pork kind of simmer in there a little bit. And Amy called from a a history of entertainers from grandma to right. Amy to brother Eric and then yep. we have Timmy of course he's not hitting the high notes no. he's hitting the high C's. No. He's hitting the high C's. He's hitting the high C's. <laughs> uh, Timmy Gillum of course is the captain for our Voyaging Canoe Mokiha Fi'ilani. Amy sits on the board as president as we try to get our canoe to sail around the world. Yep. He wanted to come by but I'm sorry, this time she still ranked him and right, uh, right. we brought you on instead. <laughs> we always have celebration of the arts, that's right. why. Yes, that's exactly, yep. exactly, exactly. Yep. I can't remember the first celebration of the arts I did. It was years ago, when you first started it, I uh, think. Oh, yeah. It's always going to be, tw it's 29 years. Wow. 29 years. Wow, yeah. that's I, amazing. Yep, I had black hair and I'm about 100 pounds <laughs> less. Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. So it, does this go in last as part of the browning so process? So I'm going to let that um, get to a boil. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to start cutting the watercress. And then this I just add at the very, like at the very end. It doesn't take long to, or you can add it now, I guess. Uh -huh. It doesn't take long to cook. In fact, I'll just add it in now. Oh, you add a whole. And it just adds a little oomph to it. Well, it's starting to smell great already. Now, when you cut the watercress, you use the entire thing? I use everything. Watercress, you can use the whole thing. I don't know if you remember, but my dad used to eat this with mayonnaise. Oh, boy. Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that's very local style. Yeah, that's mayonnaise with everything. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise with everything. Mayonnaise with chili. Mayonnaise with chili. Mayonnaise with peas. Yeah, <laughs> mayonnaise, with peas, no, yeah mayonnaise with peas. Kind of a staple, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And it's got to be that certain brand. Right. I always have an issue with cooking because I've been, you know, our family is big and I don't know how to cook small, so I always have a big pot. I think that's a common denominator right. between <laughs> all the guests that we've had on Comfy in the Kitchen is that everybody's got large families. Yep. And the trick is to stretch what you got to accommodate the large family, not to mention the guests that may be popping in for dinner at the right. same time. Exactly. So I'm going to add some more of this bouillon. I've never seen it in that form before. Yeah, it's organic and it's, you know, rather than buying those big things of chicken broth sure. or boiling your chicken down and putting it in the uh -huh. freezer, this is just easier for me because I'm always super on the go. I d usually just do it to taste. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and then you can just, all the, the last thing you do is just add the watercress. Super just easy. Just simmer and voila. Simmer and voila. Super keto friendly, very ono, comfort food. Except when you put three pounds of rice underneath that. <laughs> right. Maybe, you know, you're, you're such a well-renowned performer and you're always at, always on the call. People want you here, want you there. Unfortunately, we went to this year of the pandemic and stuff. How do you mm -hmm. think it's yourself as a performer and others? Well, our entertainment community here in Hawaii, you know, suffers severely, like in the world. Mm -hmm. um, I am the president of Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts. Yes, yes. So, I really kicked it into overdrive with my board and using music cares from the Grammys, finding different opportunities that, you know, all the, the available resources just constantly fueling it out to our entertainers. Mm -hmm. You know, in Hara, we have different tiers of entertainers. We have Kupuna, that are the greatest songwriters on the planet. Sure. Then we have my generation and then the younger generation, Z, X, Q, Y, O, P, uh -huh. that generation. And so it was really kind of tricky navigating through that. We did have our Nahoku Hanohano Awards virtual last mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for it being in a pandemic, we had over 6 million views. Nice. The highest rated we've ever had in Nahoku Awards. Wow. Wow. So, and if, if most don't know, it's like our Grammy Awards here in, in Hawaii. So just finding ways to survive. It really has opened up a lot of people's eyes, I think, especially nonprofit boards, mm -hmm. you know, like we have Akaulua that we sit on. And it certainly has been tricky here in Hawaii too. But I promise you, once we get through this critical period, yep. um, the entertainers will be coming back by storm. Oh, yeah. By storm. And yes, exactly. And I can also promise you that Celebration Yards will continue to, to support the, that, that music industry because, as you know, I've, for some reason, we have some really good, a really great record, actually, of performers coming here, uh, performing their, their opening CD, and next thing you know, they're on the stage with you. Exactly. Receiving their, exactly. their awards. So you, it's, it's a good you, birthing point. Yeah, you, exactly. You've malamed that very well in getting this gener next generation up and mm -hmm. in front of, you know. Well, thank you. Thank yeah, you. that's been wonderful. I think it's important what you do in Celebration of the Arts, just to help the tourists understand what, how important it is to be a steward of, of, of Hawaii. You and know, our, our people land. as well, because a lot of our people are not yeah, as aware. Yeah, a lot of local people. Yeah. Yep. And you know, hey, as you know, we have what I consider to be the best law in the state of Hawaii that night. Exactly. Food, again, is a common <laughs> right. denominator, along with music and dance, so it's a great time for everybody. And we got Hanai Li'i here sharing an old family recipe uh, that we are going to enjoy in a few minutes. So, wow, with all this together, the pot simmering. Thank you so very much. Thank you. I, we will be feasting on this in a few we minutes. Are. So, yeah. <laughs> well, here we are. Another family recipe on the table. 
from the Gilliam family. Thank you so very much. I mean, I know I'm going to enjoy this. And I won't ask you this until we have a little bite first, but okay. maybe perhaps you could take us out with, in, in tune with a little, of course with a I couple can. of verses <laughs> as, 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 as I eat my mea ai and I get to listen to you once again and reminisce of the Anui Nui Awesome. Okay, yep. so yeah, so let's, let's have, a, have bite. a bite. Absolutely. Pork and watercress, Han Lai Ali East Pork style. Pork and watercress. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like the sausage? Shingo. Oh no, yeah, just yeah. a little, little chip inside. It's yes. fabulous. Right. So, Hano, Hano, Haleiva. From the first person who made the watercress, pork and watercress, my ah. tutu. Kuhome, Aloha. Hano, Hano. Aloha. Aloha. From our hearts to all of you, thank you for tuning in to the segment of Comfy in the Kitchen with Hanai Lee and myself, Cliff Naoli. Please stay tuned. Lots, lots more recipes and good family stories to tell. Aloha to all. Thank Aloha. You.